No. Well, you can talk to him though. Why would I talk to him again? Because it's funny. <laughs> oh, no, never mind. Yeah, you'll have to go over to uh, left floor three. Welcome to our parlor, dearie. Interested in some spider pastries? All proceeds go to real spiders. Check out the webs to make a purchase. I, I, I ended up buying a donut. I, I, I didn't want to, but the girl, even though I told her no, she kept staring at me in this creepy way and licking her lips. And now I'm out of cash. <sighs> Buy spider cider for 9,999 G? <laughs> you didn't have enough gold. <laughs> Hi, Alfie's here. This room is like the room we saw before. There are two puzzles to the north and south. You'll have to solve them both to proceed. But also, I'd like to say, I don't really like giving away puzzle solutions. But if you need help, just call me, okay? Actually, wait, I have an idea. Let's be friends on Undernet. Then you can just ping me when you need help. Wait, we're already friends, aren't we? I signed you up, didn't I? You've been reading my posts the whole time. Well, I hope you agree with me about Mew Mew too. That's not how it works. Encourage. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a great job, though. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did it. I did it. What was that notification I saw? Uh, I think I was seeing. Oh yeah, you only got one shot on this one. Yeah, this one's a little bit more tricky. the blow. This opportunity comes. <laughs> oh my god, you yeah, just reference it, man. Wow. Um, yeah, oh my wow, I got it. There I got it. Go. Okay, cool, let's go. <laughs> I can tell you're getting frustrated. <laughs> Are these guys here before? No. Favorite Metaton moment? Right when everything looks baddest, he poses dramatically. Like when he's on a cooking show and the eggs don't turn out right. My favorite Metaton moment is when he beats up the heel turning villains. Even if it's during what's supposed to be a quiz show. Nope. I don't want to go right? 
Yeah, you have to go down. Remember Alfie said that you, pu uh, that you have to do puzzles in the north and the south. I don't actually know my directions very well, so... Oh. Uh, north is up, south is down. Thanks for the... <laughs> Just, the uh, figured I'd help. Yeah. <laughs> kind of figured north was up since... The last one was easier because there really wasn't very many options. Now like this one's a little tricky. No, although, all right, well, because you, you have direction. to remember, yeah, yeah, because you have to remember that you're technically moving on a conveyor, but because it matches your speed, you have to, yep. Yeah. Okay, that's not as bad. Oh, what? No! You slightly moved up. Yeah, no. Okay. Hey, this, um, doesn't have to, anything to do with guiding, but... Uh, hey, would you want to watch a human TV show together? Sometime? It's called, um, M M M M M Kissy Cutie. <laughs> really? It's so good. It's, um, my favorite show. It's all about this human girl named Mew Mew who has the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> There's so much to read so fast. Uh, also, I mean, of course, eventually she realizes they're controlling people. Okay, well, I almost spoiled the whole show, but uh, I think you'd really like it. <laughs> we should watch it after you get through all this. <laughs> Don't worry. Another one shot. This one can't be so <laughs> oh, okay, I'm moving. Okay. Yeah. I got it. That was actually simpler than the last one, I feel like. Yeah, I, I feel that the south one is a little bit easier. Oh yeah, there's a item if you get, if you talk to that cactus. There's nothing really oh, yeah, major. Actually, I don't even think he gives you an item. I think he just says something and doesn't really do anything. Uh, I'm not going to say anything. I just uh, something. Yeah, I, I don't blame you. You have to go right now. Oh you're, damn it! Yeah, Is that up now? No. No, you went up earlier. Got me all turned around now. Flip turned upside down. <laughs> yeah, you can ask those, uh, those lyrics. <laughs> oh, what I, I hate puzzles. I like Mario puzzles because they're really not that complicated. Mm -hmm. Oh, my what? Yeah, I need to get cushions for those. <laughs> the smell of cobwebs fills the air. You're filled with determination. Oh, yeah. Cutlass is kind of look cool in the background. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of uh, Super Hero Mario when he faced the cobweb boss. Oh yeah, that boss. Oh, that was awesome. Love that twist. Did you hear what they just said? They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. I heard that they hate spiders. I heard that they love to stomp on them. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. I heard... That they're awfully stingy with their money. <laughs> you think your taste is too refined for our pastries, don't you, dearie? <laughs> I disagree with that notion. I think your taste is exactly what this next batch needs. Muffet traps you. She looks a lot like the boss town. Hmm. Just no, no. I was gonna say 
don't worry about reducing because you're just going to be spending all of your money. Because every time you reduce it, or every time you reduce damage, the price goes up. Mm. I think purple is a better look on you. See, now it costs 40 instead of 10. Okay. Struggle to escape the web. Muffet covers her mouth and giggles at you. Why so pale? You should be proud. Muffet pours you a cup of spiders. <laughs> you struggle to escape the web. Muffet laughs and claps her hands. Oh, you're going to make a delicious cake? <laughs> struggling a lot. Muffin is so amused by your antics that she gives you a discount. If you go, don't be silly. It smells like freshly baked cobwebs. Nothing happens. Your soul is going to make every spider very happy. <coughs> To escape the web. Nothing happens. Oh, how rude of me. I almost forgot to introduce you to my pet. It's breakfast time, isn't it? Have fun, you two. Oh. Oh. You want to go up? escape the web. Nothing happened. Person who warned us about you. Offered us a lot of money for your soul. Spiders clap along the music. They had such a sweet smile and... <laughs> oh yeah, the those are croissants, not boomerangs. <laughs> Do you want to get croissants? No. Uh -huh. No, you never want to purposely run into anything unless it's green. But nothing in this battle screen. That's nice to know. Strange, but I swore I saw them in the shadows changing shape. For some more dodging. Oh, yeah, that's well, cool. running, I should say. I'm still dodging because they come as far as come from the top. Yeah. No. No, you're actually getting really good at that one. <laughs> That money, the spider clans can finally be reunited. The spiders clap along. Double donuts. You haven't heard? Spiders have been trapped in the ruins for generations. It's a 
synchronized dance with the other spiders. Double croissants. Even if they go under the door, Snowden's fatal cold is impassable alone. With the money from your soul, we'll be able to rent them a heated limo. <laughs> Yeah, two different speeds. And remember, you do have healing items if you need to use them. Because the tea, the tea doesn't heal as much as the uh, crab apples. And with all the leftovers, we could have a nice vacation. Or even build a spider baseball field. <laughs> Enough of that. It's time for dinner, isn't it? No. like it's time for dessert. Huh? A telegram from the spiders in the ruins? What? They're saying <laughs> they saw you and you helped donate to their cause. Oh my, this has all been a big misunderstanding. I thought you were someone that hated spiders. This per uh, the person who asked for that soul, they must have been a different human in a striped <laughs> shirt. Sorry for all the trouble. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. You can come back here anytime and for no charge at all. I'll wrap you up and let you play with my pet again. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll spare you now. Yeah, if you remember back in the beginning whenever you bought that donut, yeah. that, that's why they got the telegram. Yeah. <clears throat> That was fun. See you again, dearie. Yeah, you did it. I did it. I did it. It's a poster from Editon's latest stage performance. <coughs> a tragic tale of a two-star crossed lovers kept apart by the tides of fate. <laughs> Looks like it's almost time for the performance. Uh, huh, huh, huh. I wonder who the second person is. Oh, that human. <laughs> Could it be? <laughs> My one true love. <laughs> <laughs> you should be able to move around if you want. No, I can't. All right. Oh my love. Please run away. I'm sure. Monster King forbids your stay. Humans must live far apart. Even if it breaks my heart. They'll put you in the dungeon. It'll suck. <laughs> and then you'll die a lot. <laughs> really sad. If you are gonna die. Cry, cry, cry. So sad it's happening. So sad. So sad that you are going to the dungeon. Well, toodles.
Oh no, whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly my paramour will surely perish. <laughs> oh heavens have mercy, the horrible colored tile maze. Each colored tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile sounds a noise and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will... Actually, wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? That's right, you remember all the rules, don't you? <laughs> Great, I won't waste your time repeating them. <laughs> oh, and you better hurry. Because if you don't get through in 30, 30 seconds... seconds. Yeah, that's good stuff for them. You'll be incinerated by these jets of fire. <laughs> My poor love, I'm so filled with grief, I can't stop laughing. Good luck, darling. <laughs> oh, my love has fallen down, now in tears. We all will drown. Colored tiles, make them a fool. Only they still knew the rules. I'm so sorry, looks like you're out of time. Yeah, I can't let go of Here come the flames, darling. They're closing in. Getting closer, oh my. Any minute now. Watch out, I'll save you. I'm hacking into the firewall right now. Oh no, how could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alfie's. Okay. That, oh, oh, that's right. Come on, Metaton, give up already. You'll never be able to defeat us. Not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over, now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle? Over? Alfie's darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound, then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me. <laughs> this is actually probably one of my favorite boss battle music. Yell. You yell, nothing happened. This is it, darling, say goodbye. Is that your phone? You better answer it. Hey, this, this seems bad, but don't worry. There's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to the phone's act menu and press it. the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. Oh, that yellow glow! What the hell? Now press Z, which is X. Okay. Oh, oh! You've defeated me! How can this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc. Et okay. It looks like you beat him. You really did a great job out there. All thanks to you. Or dot dot. Yeah, I would use all thanks to you. What? Oh no, I mean, you were the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. <laughs> um, hey, this might sound strange, but... Can I tell you something? Sure. Before I met you, I didn't really... I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw-up. 
Like I couldn't do anything without without ending up letting everyone down. But guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost to the core. It's just past the MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. <laughs> you didn't get into that music now. Now I got my head stuck in the third mile. This is also what it sounds like when you're on the moon on third mile. It's been a while since I've heard that music. Hey, it's you again. Business is excellent. Here, these two fellows bought all my ice cream. I've actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait, I still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? <laughs> well, thank you. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what ride it is. Right, I think, is an elevator. Yeah, you need to talk to him. Hey, hey, did you remember my name? Did you? What? You remembered? How could I be so easily <laughs> defeated? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. So, if you wanted to, you could um, head back to Alfie's lab. Um. I don't know, there's nothing you can do with her right now. Um, you could go see Undyne if you wanted to, or you could continue with the campaign, or the story. And use the elevator, wouldn't I? Yeah, you'd use the elevator. Mm, uh, I think left it's floor left floor one you on. <laughs> Pretty sure. Yeah, no. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, go down. Is that where the river is? No, oh, straight shot. Mm -hmm. Yes. Where will we go? Uh, the waterfall is where, is where, um, Undyne is. We did the stuff with, um, uh, Papyrus, right? Do you remember if we did that? You saying we did the stuff with Papyrus is pretty vague, but you're talking about the dating game. Yeah. Yeah, we did All right, that. yeah. I couldn't remember if we did that or not. You can count on me. If it's hot or cold. You can count on him. Or her. We don't know. <laughs> I just call it. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Then to the left. To the left, to the left. To do. Yes, they're going to quote a thousand songs right now. <laughs> <laughs> so where is it? No, to the left. Just to the left? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The song is just telling me that you no, it's neither of those two houses. It's neither of these? Yeah. Up here. Yep. Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. That's the whole reason here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, stand behind me. Make sure you give her this. She loves these. Uh -huh. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. <laughs> Hi, I don't think we've... Mm. Mm. Huh? Why don't you two come in? <laughs> Here I dine. My friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll uh, put it with the others. <laughs> <laughs> so are we ready to start? 
Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> you two have fun. What the? <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> so why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? And why are you here? Hmm? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Really? How delightful, I accept. <laughs> Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought I'm dying to be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. <laughs> challenge? What? Pyrus, wait a second. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> Thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. <laughs> We're going to be best friends. We're going to be besties. <laughs> I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect, perfect revenge. revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Sit down, progress. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set, what would you like? Hey, don't get up. <laughs> you are the guest. <laughs> Sit down and enjoy yourself. <laughs> um, why not just point what you want? You can use the spear. <laughs> Alright, so you got T. You got a sword, which is an acquired taste. <laughs> you have the fridge, which is full of food. You have the tea box, which is the blatantly correct choice. Hot chocolate. Soda. And sugar. And undyne. Are you hitting on me? <laughs> hmm? Well, he's still down. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna do anything. <laughs> Believe me, I will gladly give you your fill of swords <laughs> if you were my beloved house guest. <laughs> The fridge? You want to have the entire fridge? <laughs> no! Oh, I thought you were gonna... Okay. So, it's the tea box for guys? Yeah. It's a blatantly correct choice. Tea, huh? Coming right up. <laughs> It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Be careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. Take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. 
Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. They're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once. To prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and too nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. <laughs> I could never send him into battle. He get ripped into little smiling shreds. <laughs> That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus is cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if, he's, and if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. <laughs> Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than he, you, know, you can ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid? We're going to be best friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, okay. <laughs> Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fist. How will you pound? Strong or wimpy? You pet the vegetables <laughs> in an affectionate manner. <laughs> oh my god, stop <laughs> petting the enemy. I'll show you how it's done. Yeah. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. <laughs> but for now, we add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah. Uh, just put them in the pot. Do you put them in the pot, fiercely or carefully? You place the noodles in one at a time. <laughs> they clank against the empty bottom. Nice. <laughs> All right. Now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Just, you know, just keep pressing X. Stir harder. Harder. Harder! Ah, uh, let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to turn up the heat. 
sold it. Potter! Potter, darn it! Potter! Ugh, let me do it. See? This is how you... Uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. <laughs> So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. If we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guests anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Yeah. You pretend to swing and undine with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking a full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid... <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Sucrine stick. Stick. But... The way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. <laughs> just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. <laughs> that makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? <laughs> we'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, <laughs> see you later, punk.